So today is Human Rights Day, 2015, and what we're doing is we're highlighting forced labor in Uzbekistan here at the World Bank headquarters in Washington, D.C., with a projection of various images of slavery in Uzbekistan. All of us are wearing clothing with cotton in it. Uh, Uzbekistan is the fifth largest exporter of cotton in the world. That cotton ends up on the retail shelves all around the world. Um, so we're projecting images of uh, people in Uzbekistan whose human rights are violated by the government of Uzbekistan. So these are photos and videos taken by Uzbek civil society activists. We've gotten a lot of feedback from passersby on the sidewalks. Uh, it's been really interesting to hear what people have to say about the problem. Um, so many people don't even know that there is still slavery today, better yet that uh, Uzbek citizens are being forced to pick cotton every cotton harvest every year. It's not the kind of practices that the U.S. condones, that the World Bank should be condoning, and to go ahead and give a loan to the government, which is run by elites who are taking money out of the cotton industry, is completely contradictory to the principles of the World Bank. So this affects everybody in the world. Uh, the violation of human rights of somebody in Uzbekistan is a violation of all of our rights. So we've been leafleting here tonight, and as people have been looking at the projection, we give them a leaflet, we tell them if you want to support the issue of trying to get World Bank to stop loans to a regime that's forcing its citizens to work in the cotton fields, go online, and look for the petition on Uzbekistan. So laborrights.org slash Uzbekistan, you'll find a petition you can sign on. We're gonna deliver the petitions in early January in about a month.